All right, hello everybody. Uh, this is a very early morning. I've got a 6.30 start at work, so I'm just on my way walking there. And I'm talking, doing my thing, yo. So take a seat. And yeah, some food for thought. So I was talking with my housemate last night, uh, my lesbian housemate, Sam. Very cool chick. And I was writing a little poem from a gay person's perspective. Just a bit of a, uh, you know, he'll have no wrath, like a, like a gay man scorned kind of thing. And just the ultimate piss take on straights and, you know, anti-gay uh, homophobia kind of sentiments. And my friend ended up getting me, she became curious with the topic, naturally, getting me to look online for Bible verses that mention anything about gays not being allowed to love and do their thing. Um, eventually this led her to make the comment at one point that, you know, because I don't think there was anything that actually said, you know, no man on man action. I mean, there's a lot of stuff about no fornication and stuff like this. Um, but that even applies to with women, you know, men on women, not just men with men. But I do think there was something about you can't get married. Uh, you can't have sex outside of marriage and only straight people can get married, so therefore, if you're gay, it's, it's wrong, it's sinful to have sex. So this led my housemate to make the comment that, you know, in regards to marriage, um, that it, she guesses it does make sense, in a way, to, to not have sex until you're married. Um, now, you know, I've had, of course, I've had this discussion with people before, and, you know, personally, I think there's, there's not a whole lot of wisdom um, and practicality in getting married before the act. Because um, there is a lot of truth and, you know, and wisdom in try before you buy. I mean, you don't want to sign the dotted line, find yourself locked up in a prison, spending time with someone that has a small pee-pee. You know what I'm saying? I mean, once you're locked in there, you're not getting out. So you can only, you know, if you can't really enjoy your love life, your, your sex life, then that's a life unfulfilled, in my honest opinion. It's a life only half lived. So I think it's important to try before you buy. I think it's important to know that, more so, that you have that chemistry with somebody, that physical chemistry in the bedroom, and that it works well <clears throat> before you get married. But here's, here's something that came to me last night with Sam is that, you know, they say that you shouldn't have sex until you're married. How about this? How about we switch it around a little bit and go for the opposite of that? Maybe you shouldn't get married until after you can make love. Until after you can make love. And good love at that. Love that, you know, is lovely. Um... Because, you know, I think there is a difference. I think that you can try before you buy and you can fuck around, just have sex with somebody, and it doesn't really need to be anything deep, special, significant. It can just be sex, right? Um, whereas, on the other hand, I think with making love is a totally different uh, phenomenon altogether, and one that should definitely be a requisite before putting a ring on anyone's finger and tying the knot. So that's just a bit of food for thought, something I was thinking. What do you guys think? Do you think, you know, if there's any sense, I mean, as admirable as it is, do you think there's any real sense in getting married and then having sex? Do you think they should be allowed just to fuck around and then get married? Or do you see married in the idea that you should be able to make love before you get married? Because when you think about it, there are a lot of marriages that, you know, the, the well of their the nourishment and their love and their affection runs dry. And I think if you're able to make love with somebody, then that's a pretty good indication that you've got something substantial and essential. Because making love is no easy feat. You know, I, I call, you know, when I say making love, I don't mean one person loving the other and investing a lot of energy and sentiment and, you know, tender loving care into the act of sex. I mean, when I say making love, it's a two-way street. You need two people who are embracing each other 
with the hearts invested and sharing that same kind of devotion to pleasing each other out of love. <clears throat> That's making love. It's a two-way act. It's a two-way dance. I'd like to say I've made love before. I'd like to say. And I think I can say I've maybe made love a few times with a few women. But in general, I was I was pushing it. I was trying. I was trying to make love, you know. Meanwhile, so I was just getting fucked. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't happen as often as you think. Um, it doesn't count if you're infatuated with a guy and you got a crush and then finally you guys hook up and it feels amazing. That isn't necessarily making love. That is just fulfilling an appetite and desire which has been growing a beast like a balloon and then pop, it's overwhelming and blows your world. So basically, yeah, I think if you can make love, if you can find that rare thing where you can love and appreciate somebody and really utterly devote yourself to their, giving them pleasure more than just receiving your own and it means a lot to you the fact that it's that person, not the fact that you're fucking just having sex and sex is great, which it is and there's nothing wrong with just having sex for the sake of sex but when, when it feels even better because you love the person because of who the person is, just to touch them just to lie beside them and if they feel the same way about you in that regard then you've got something special then I got something that might be a little bit more worthy of considering putting a ring on and signing the dotted line for and yeah that's pretty much all I got to say about that food for thought cheers for watching and bad tidings you don't be rushing into anything just because it feels good or it's ideal yeah because there are practical things to consider. Know what I'm saying?